Good day, good day, Spartan Willie here, and welcome back to our Rival Stars Horse Racing Series. So I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to episode 3, where we're slowly rebuilding this once great stable. Um, we had some a lot of racing in the last episode, hopefully we can follow that up. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, it mean a lot if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Alright, so the last goal that we need to do is sell any horse. And now we are going to have to sell our first horse, which is of course pa Parsnip Patriot eventually. And I don't want to have to sell um, our baby horse over here, which, what's the name again? But uh, I think it's Instant Toffee, yeah, that's the one. So I think we're just going to have to sell the Parson and Patriot. So he's been a good little horse for us. He got us our first three wins. Your service will be remembered. But off you go, Parsnip. Good luck in your future endeavours. And we watch as she walks off the screen quite majestically. 2,000 gold. That wasn't, wasn't really what it was for. It was to get the gold. But we should be able to level up. So we collect that. And that should give us a little level up screen. I Collect that. There we go. So now we're at level 5, which is good. We get a new set of goals, a new customization options, and we can get daily goals now, which we can work on. Uh, if you don't know what they are, they are these goals here that you can just, you know, place first at the meadows, sell on your horse at the front, and you get these little skills that you can put on your horses. I don't really do the skills because they only last a certain amount of races. So, look, it's a little thing that's there. We can knock them off if we want. But we've got a new fresh set of goals now, which I'm going to work towards. Alright, so we'll start off here at the ranch income. We'll collect the money that was collected overnight. And we'll hit the upgrade button and upgrade that. We'll see if there's any vis visible difference. Yes, there is. Alright. We furnished the little porch, which is nice. We'll jump over to the storehouse. Oh, not sell that. Upgrade the storehouse as well. So that is one goal ticked off. Upgrade both those. And we'll jump over to the training upgrades. Alright, now we'll upgrade these facilities. So upgrade... Hopefully we've got enough sort of tools and stuff. Oh, I see there. The saddles on the left changed. And it looks like we will. Hopefully we have enough for the acceleration. Yeah, we got a little hard hat. There we go. So that is those upgraded. Now there is a goal to upgrade the foal stall to tier 5. But of course we can't upgrade while we're nurturing. And we also have a goal to breed a grade 3 or higher horse. Which we've already done. So that's actually great. It's not prestige. I've been calling it prestige the whole time. Then we're going to train the horse to level 8 and compete in 3 races. So basically all we got to do is race to try and get some silver feed and stuff that we can feed to our foal. And um, yeah, we can start knocking us some of the other goals. So Trumpet's trick is now level 9. I've upgraded all her skills. So we're going to unlock this race and try and... See this one has a chance to give us gold. So surely it will give silver more commonly. Um, as you can see there by the little squares with the question mark in it, that's sort of what they give you. Uh, there's a chance that they give you any of those. So we really need that silver feed so we can start feeding our um, foul, so, foals. So, I mean, he's not really, she's not really high enough level. But we're going to do it anyway because we need the silver feed. And hopefully we can come away with a sneaky win. Actually, over the sprint, I don't think we will. Um, maybe we'll go this one. We're better off getting this one. I'm not sure if you win the race, there's a better chance that you get said silver feed um but this is better for money as well because obviously you need to pay an entry fee so we'll do this one now and then hopefully we can upgrade trumpet's trick to the next level and she'll have more of a chance in race three at the meadows but it is a daily objective of course to win a race here as well so this will sort of tick off two things and perfect start and oh i went the wrong way i'm used to racing at other other venues but it should still be fine so at the 300 roughly we're gonna try and go at the 180 but we do have that guy down our inside so we might need to go a bit earlier but we don't really have the stamina for it so let's go now 175 that's a good level keeping them back but we're running out of stamina quite early in the sprint but try and manage it oh we just get there i think wow i don't know we just didn't have much stamina over that length but we won and we won quite comfortably by a whole second so not too badly there we'll take that win for sure so as you can see in the bottom right there we have one silver grain it's actually called standard but silver just seems easier to remember with like silver bronze and gold but we have one standard feed and now we need one standard acceleration feed that's that sort of heart rate thing i was talking about earlier and yeah, hopefully we keep grinding out the races and we get that. Alright, so we're going to go to the Parsons race location now and do race one over there. 
as you can see it's over the 800 and we are actually third favorite so it could be a bit of a challenge but there's a chance for gold gold sort of feed so maybe you'll give a silver more silver but we'll give it a crack here 830 bet put it all on the line hopefully we can get a sneaky win over the sprint don't know if Trumpet's Trick's much of a sprinter, but we'll soon find out. Uh, th they are a level 10 now, which is good. It's maxed out their potential there, so we might have to just sort of force the, f the f raising of our um, foul fold. So, we'll give it a crack, but let's see how we go over the sprint. We're a decent start there. We've got a bit of a gap, so I'll see you at the sprint in. All right, 300 to go, and by sprint, I mean you just don't turn in this. So, everyone's a bit everywhere. It's hard to really see where anyone is. But we're going to go about now and just hope for the best. We've got someone coming up our right, but they went pretty early. Hopefully they fall away. We've got someone down the left. And um, we're out of stamina, but I think we've done it. We've somehow done it with no stamina. I think it's my go to a photo. It's going to a photo finish. Here we go. Oh, we win easily. Come on. You don't need a photo finish for that, but it's pretty cool to in the game, isn't it? Adds a bit of suspense, but yeah, we win quite, quite easily there. It's not definitely not the closest one I've had, but... Yeah, it's a win, which is fantastic. Now, give us some silver acceleration feed. To be honest, I don't even think... Oh, wow. As you can see there, two sprint feed, two acceleration feed, and two stand attack. Beautiful. So, it feels like this is the hardest I've ever worked for seeing a virtual horse eat in my life. But we finally got the required stuff. We're going to feed it for the first time. We're going to show it for the first time, just in case you're interested. But now we can wait two minutes and we can come back and feed it again. But we're going to keep doing races in the meantime, try and build up a bit of a reserve in this standard feed. Um, I was just sort of call it all feed, but there's actually different types. There's like grain, acceleration feed, stuff like that. But we do need another grain, as you can see in the bottom right there. So on to the races. So back to Parsons here. Trumpet Trick's now the favorite over race one over the 1,000 meters. So we're going to definitely do that. I don't know why I pronounced meters so weirdly, but... If you're unsure, sorry, I should have clarified this earlier. I don't know if I did, but with the feeding of the um, foal, you actually get a stat boost if you do it. So that is actually a really good thing to do to feed it. Obviously, it takes longer. You need resources for it, but it gives it a unique stat boost that you know gives it an edge against other horses its level because it's got a bit of a bond with the jockey, I suppose. But fantastic start here. This is a bit of a longer, longer one than the 800 meter sprint that we did. But um, decent start. We've got to get on the fence before the turn, though. So we're going to probably try and... Oh, he's pulled back. Okay. Well, now we're on the fence, and hopefully we can get in a good position for the sprint home. So I'm not really happy with the distance we have to them and the lack of stamina. They've probably got full stamina bars because they've been in their preferred position. So this could be a tight race, but we'll give it a damn crack, won't we? All right, let's go. At right, the 180. Go nice and spaced out button presses. Here we go, we're going to go all the way to the wire with the one, but we're going to win. And um, yeah, the other horses didn't really come, but we knock out the only challenger, quite simply. Looks like Light Lunge had a late lunch at Charming Coffin. So yeah, a bit interesting that race. Again, I wasn't really happy with how it played out, but we did well to win it in the end. And I see that two standard grey and two standard acceleration feed. In a fantastic position here with 200 meters to go. We're going to start our sprint. We've got quite the gap, so this will be, probably be a pretty routine one here. Oh, actually not. We've got someone coming at the last, but we'll get it done nicely. Use the stamina well, maintain it. That is a win at $5.60 odds over the 1,400. So we are the second favorite in this race, and that guy's just done the dash quite early, but there's... Oh, have we gotten a bit late on the sprint? I think we have here. And first place, oh, hang on. No way. Oh, he just had too much ground. If I started the sprint 10 meters earlier, we would have got him. But that's second place, unfortunately. He wasn't even the favorite that I was talking about. But you got a two center grain, but it's not great to get second there. Missed time to sprint. Oh, well, on to the next one. So we're on the fence. We had a barrier one draw. We've got full stamina here. I'm liking our chances. We're going to go nice and early. They did as well, to be fair. But I don't think they'll make it all the way. Watch that come back to bite me, that statement. But hang on, they're starting to slow up. Yeah, fantastic. I knew it. At this level, it's very hard to maintain a 220 meter sprint. You have to be pretty timed as we were just then. Fantastic effort there. That was our equal favorite as well. They were $5, same as us. So more silver speed feed, which is great to see. All right. So if you're a bit confused what just happened, I just sort of played three races. They were all Parsons Valley race one. And I just wanted to get them over quickly. I didn't want to do the start and finish. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Just sort of three sprint ins in one minute. Beautifully done. But maybe that's something we can do because this race is a bit grindy. 
around here to play the same races just sort of get your money and your feed up but i also was feeding instant toffee between races so just fed it its last batch there and it's gonna have a five stat boost which is pretty good so we're gonna skip that and now it's ready to be a mare so skip to a mare and there it is instant toffee so we have a level three horse of course we maxed out um what's his name trumpets potential so trumpet strikes potential so they're level 10 out of 10 but instant toffee can go up to a level 15 which is fantastic and it's already a level four so we can train it up to be a level four already so we're going to do that quickly and then we'll get its debut race so three oaks is where we're going to see instant toffee's debut here in race three over the 100 meters three dollar odds already a favorite of course it's a level four um and a grade three so of course it's got a better start but we're going to show the start and the finish of this race Barrier 1 as well, very good to see, but I don't know if there's a turn over the 100 meters, yeah there is on 3 Oaks, okay, usually there's not, but decent start, heavy favourite at $3, I mean heavy favourite in this game that is, you never really see much lower than $3, um, so we'll have a look here, good start, I'll see you for the sprint in. 250 to go here, and I can, can I just say, look how amazing this horse looks, looks fantastic, and look how quick it is as well, it is smashing this race in here at um, three oaks as it should though it's much better than these horses I have to say but I've run out of stamina here but it doesn't really matter because we're so far in front and then they've literally finished two and a half seconds behind three oaks was never going to give us too much money but it gives us more basic attack and grain which we will need to level instant toffee up at the start 250 to go here at three oaks race three and we're quite far in front as to be said, Instant Toffee is a bit of a prodigy. I mean, it's it's three oaks, so we won't get too far ahead of ourselves. But I'm getting a bit complacent with the old stamina. It has to be said here. It's going to slow up, but it doesn't matter. We can win this race by jogging, to be honest. I don't even know if we need to do a sprint at the end. All right, Instant Toffee's debut at the Meadows. And it's pretty much the same story as three oaks. Way out in front. We're going to take the sprint nice and easy. It's good to try and get these back intact. I feel like Instant Toffee's stamina is very different to Trumpet's trick because I mean we managed it well there but easy win there we love to see love to see that and also like to see the money filling up at the top right there 57,000 we started this episode on 25,000 and this prodigy of a horse it's going to be a bit closer this time but I think we're still in comfortably good starts to the stamina a good few lengths between us and the nearest competitor they're running out of stamina we win easily done race to the meadows again 200 and some to go here we're back on with trumpet's trick because we need to win this race for a goal so and trumpet's trick still level 10 still a little bit better than instant toffee so good to see i still got a run as well and as you see that easily win the opponents pull out trumpet's trick still definitely got it we won't see her fade into the distance like passing it page where it did just yet Maybe when Instant Toffee reaches her level, we won't see as much of her, but she's doing well for now. So it's time to breed another horse. So we're going to get Instant Toffee here, or should we do, you know, Instant Toffee's level 3, or grade 3, sorry, and Nightmare Mirage here, which is, sounds a bit spooky, but we're going to pay in 7k. We have to buy a horse from a stud farm to breed with, so hopefully, even though it's going to level 3 because we don't have a high enough um, stall we hopefully we'll get a stud that we can use around the farm and don't have to use stud farms all the time but we just bred it there and we'll see what we get Ooh, so that is our new horse it's quite a unique looking horse is it it's a colt and it's a male it's a stallion so we literally hit the nail on the head there fantastic we'll care for it rocket romp i think that's a, a decent name again the alliteration the game loves alliteration and i'm right with it there so we'll start feeding this little guy as well get that stat boost and hopefully rocket romp can be a decent little racehorse as well all right so we do actually have a rival race which if you don't know there's a rival family stable that you compete against the entire game um he talks a lot of rubbish so we gotta watch out for this guy we gotta race him next time out his horse is pretty ridiculous if we have a look here quickly cruel edge um it's quite cruel it's a nice looking horse though so look we'll give it our best shot but i'm pretty sure it's almost impossible to beat him. I beat him a couple times in the first race, but I never beat him in the later races. He raced him throughout your career. But yeah, it's something to look forward to. A bit of a rivalry brewing there, but I won't spoil too much of the dialogue just in case you're interested. But 
Yeah, that being said, that will be all for this episode. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, please remember to let me know down in the comments, leave a like on the video, and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Join the Discord server, follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.